that moment of being on a team that wins a championship, like that moment, because it's like a full year of where you just come in, you've been with these guys every day, you're training, you're working so hard, and then like you accomplish like what the goal you set out to do. Um, so being able to celebrate like the championship with your teammates, like that's what I envision hopefully for us at Birmingham, you know, we have a great group of guys in the locker room, but being able to win something together and celebrate, I feel like that's something that you like take with you for the rest of your life. Nico, what have you been up to? Me? Yeah. Sleeping, bro. <laughs> Alien. Huh? I know, right. Tan, how is the family? Good, bro. Me and the, the wife have been just chilling at the, at the curb. There's nothing else to do, bro. We started building... We started building a garden so we like have all our own fruits and vegetables. <laughs> no, nah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm telling you, bro. That's something to be excited about. When I was yeah. like younger, in like the back of my yard, I used to do that. My garden, somewhat like water, the flowers, and, and like my peppers and my tomatoes, I get mad, bro. Yeah. We, I get we so got, excited uh, to do it and look at it and, you know what I mean? Yeah, we got strawberries, uh, tomatoes, bell peppers, sweet potatoes. What? You have a farm around there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you soon can that's, supply the entire team. Yeah, that's, that's the farm. That's not a garden, it's a farm. <laughs> <laughs> that's Nico. Gave me the Dali boy. Hey, get in. What's up? Yeah, bro, you have no respect for us, bro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> bro, you have no respect now because Jay is your dad, bro. Have some respect. We're just on your time now, huh, B? My bad, fellas. My bad, my bad. Uh, <laughs> what's up? I'm disappointed, bro. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll start yeah. off. Yeah, so now the team is in, so yeah course we can start yeah now we can start uh just we'll start off saying like uh your name where you're from what year uh professional this is for you so let's start off with the young and Jaden. all right so um i was born in dallas texas um it's my first year playing professional and yeah all right rudy the other youngin yeah I was, I was born in Accra, Ghana. And um, this was my first year playing professional. All right, Prosper. Yeah, Prosper Kasim. Um, I was born in Accra, Ghana, and this is my fifth season. Yeah. This, this season, second with the Union, I mean the Legion. Yeah, this is the second year with the Legion. Yeah, so. All right, Nico. Uh, my name is Nico Brett. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. This is my fifth season as a professional player. My first year with the Birmingham Legion. MB? Um, my name is Brian Wright. Um, born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. This is my fourth year as a pro. And technically my second season now with the Legion. All right, and for me, I'm Chandler Hoffman. Um, this is my ninth year as a pro, and this is my second year with my uh, hometown team. Um, so yeah, now we got that out of the way. What all have you guys been up to lately? How are you using this time uh, in quarantine? Jaden? I'm trying to be a vampire. I can see it during the day, and I'll be up all night. Yeah, Rudy, Rudy and Prosper, what, what kind of schedule are you guys on? You guys are running at like 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like it's, um, you know, back back in Ghana, like we we always, you know, train in the morning, like so we, we are kind of used to. Morning. So like for me personally, um, even um, even um, before training back then, um, I used to wake up around 4 a.m. and I can't sleep anymore. So I'll try to watch movies. Yeah, or you know, do something. 
you know, before training. So like, like it's the same. So we get and Rudolf is also on the same, and Razak also. So like we are like okay, then why not we do it in the morning so that um, you know, uh, like at least no one will see us running around, you know. So yeah, so that's yeah. the idea. And at times also, um, Nico joins as well at times. Yeah, Nico, Nico joins at times. <laughs> And then I had a question for a couple of you guys. Who who would you say like is the player that you modeled your game after? Like, who's someone like Nico? Who who's someone that you watched like when in your younger years or even now that that you think like this is somebody I want to play like or be like? Well, in my younger years, I used to watch Samuel Eto a lot because I used to just love his off the ball movement and how he can finish. And that's exactly how I try to like model my game and just try to play like that. You you looked like him last year when when you played against us in the. In the- <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> what about you, B? Who's somebody that you uh, modeled um, the game after? Like this, like when I was younger, um, the only the only real ch- uh, like leagues I could watch was the Serie A and the Prem. Like when I was younger, I used to like them times. It was like Terry Henry was the guy in the prem. So I'd say a little bit like him, but like as I got older and starting to learn more and more players, like I'd say the Brazilian Ronaldo. Like he could just do everything, run with the ball, um, off the ball, score goals any way you want. So I'd say like a couple of those guys. And today's modern football, like I admire um, Harry Kane a lot. I think he's one of the best number nines in the world. As well as uh, Lewandowski, just a couple of guys off the top, real quick. So. Yeah. What about you, Jaden? For me, I like the Brazilians. You know, they keep it flashy. So, like for me, I'd say my favorite, of course, is Neymar. And then I'd say Coutinho. And then for me, I like Douglas Costa. So. Yeah. That's why that's why Jaden always be getting kicked at training. I love dribbling. Yeah, for, for me growing up it was like uh Hernan Crespo, the Argentinian mm-hmm. striker. Uh, yeah. people and Zagi. Uh not yeah. like flashy guys for me, it was all just about scoring goals. Scoring you know? goals, yeah. Yeah, just finding their, their space in the box. I used to it used to be like super grainy on YouTube watching their like highlight videos, but um, and then one that's a little closer to our time is like Robin Van Persie, um, like when he was at Arsenal, just mm. his movement and his ability, like with his left foot, like was who I kind of like really tried to model my game after. What What about you, Rudy? Well, um, I think um, I I I got to watch a little bit of Ronaldinho. And also, the only person I look up to now is Cristiano Ronaldo. I think I like I like how he he he's a hardworking person, and also he always tries to, to win, you know. And also the pace as well, you know. I also look at the pace. You know, Cristiano is someone who has the pace, and, and I also love running. So, yeah. <laughs> Tell, tell us about that, that the first goal that you scored against Atlanta. What was that feeling like? Oh, that was a, that was a great feeling. <laughs> that was a great feeling. You know, you know when when we walked into to the locker room, coach called me and coach told me, hey, you know, it's my first time here, and he knows what I can do, but he just wants to trust me and and put me on the left hand side of the team. So I, at least, you know, always playing as a top striker. So it felt a little bit weird, but I mean, as, as you all are forward, you know, as a forward, you always have to have, you need to have the instinct of scoring a goal. So when, when I got into the game, wow, the pass came and it was an amazing feeling. Yeah, from the legend. <laughs> like, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was, it was an amazing feeling. You know, scoring in your first match for a team like Lugan in front yeah. of the fans, and it was an amazing feeling. I'm very happy 
Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about next was kind of uh, like the best uh, memory that you have like in your career, either professionally or like for you, Jaden, uh, like at the youth level, just like what has been a moment in your career that's been like, man, I could have never like imagined like this joy or happiness or this goal, this thing that came off in the game. So Prosper, like starting with you, what what is like a, a moment in your career that it was like the highlight of your career so far? Well, um, I think I'll go for uh, our first victory at home. I mean, Birmingham Legion. Yeah, I'll, like you know, um, although um, I been in different clubs and we've won different kind of games, but that feeling of that day on the um, on the BBA field, like it was amazing because, um, you know, I, I like I was happy because, um, you know, it was, you know, it's gonna be part of um, the team history, you know. Yeah, that's um, what I was gonna say. It's like iconic but, now. The the yeah, celebration yeah. and the yeah, it was true. and I, you know, most of the time I just kind of watch that game through, you know, throughout, and then you know, like I always feel happy watching the game, so I kind of feel like. I'll be the best for now. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Nico? You scored a lot of goals in your career. What, what stands out? Yeah. I, I think the one that stands out the most, um, I was playing in the U20 World Cup qualifiers in Jamaica, and I scored a goal from like 35 yards um, against Ooh. El Salvador. <laughs> 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 I, I won. Yeah. That's like my favorite of all time. Can Can you tell us a little bit about what it what it feels like to represent your country, like be able to put on the the jersey and stuff like that? Because I know that's a lot of things like people dream about doing. So can you tell us? Yeah, what that felt like. Yeah, actually, growing up as a kid, like that's always a dream. Hopefully, one day I could represent the country. And I remember my my first game when I was like maybe 15 or 16 playing play we went to trinidad and tobago to play in a tournament and when they like when the national anthem started to play like oh. i literally started yell yeah. the anthem like jamaica jamaica it was just amazing yeah you know i mean and when i get out there i just want to like you know i just gave it my very best at all times sure yeah, that's crazy b what about you what's been the highlight for you um, I got a couple in my career so far. Um, first one I can think of is um, two years ago um, with the Revolution. I got my first start against NYCFC away, and we had been going through a little struggle like past that, that summer. And um, it was my first start, and all my teammates were like, like hyping me up, like you're gonna do well, you're gonna get your first league goal, blah blah blah, and all that stuff, and. I thought I did all right in the first half. I had an opportunity where I, the ball fell to me and I struck it pretty cleanly. But it, it actually hit off both posts and bounced out. But like how it hit the first post, I thought I was going to go post in. But it ended up hitting the other post and coming out. So I was kind of a little upset about that. But um, I just kept going in the second half. I, was, I actually scored the game winner that game which helped us a lot and that point because we hadn't really picked up a lot of points so i was one so scoring my first mls goal on my first start and then the next one i can think of is last year when we played away at Louisville. um i'm sure you guys know like prosper scoring the first goal and the scoring the second goal and it was kind of a back and forth game in the second half and then no, we uh, unfortunately gave up that unfortunate own goal, but like I kind of didn't feel too worried. Like I still felt like there was still a couple opportunities, and then obviously I was able to score that, that game winner in that game and give us our first victory in club history. So um, that one's pretty special to me too. So I would say those two for me. Yeah, I think for me, uh, like in 2014, not so much like. Uh, individual goal that I scored but that moment of being on a team that wins a championship like that moment because it's like a full year where you've just come in you've been with these guys every day you're training you're working so hard 
and then like you accomplish like what the goal you set out to do. Um, so being able to celebrate like the championship with your teammates, like that's what I envision hopefully for us at Birmingham. You know, like, we have a great group of guys in the locker room, but being able to win something together and celebrate, I feel like that's something that you like take with you for the rest of your life. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm hoping for us this year, if we ever get back out and get them play. Is that um, the championship jersey behind you there? Yeah, I got the jersey with the, the medal and it's got like the date and all that Ooh. stuff. It's funny because we played against uh, Jay's team. Uh, yeah, 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 I actually remember watching that, that finals actually. So I think he's pretty salty about that game. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Jaden, what about you? What's been the, the highlight of your career so far? I'd say I was in the U20 World Cup qualifiers, CONCACAF in Florida with Puerto Rico and we were playing against US. And so my brother and I both got a call up, him from the US and me from Puerto Rico. Oh, that's and I, wild. Think, I didn't know that. Yeah, and I just think playing against him was like something that we'll both never forget because growing up playing against each other every day in the backyard and now we're on the national stage doing it. I just, I think that was a special moment for both of us as well. Yeah, that is, that's so cool to be able to share yeah. that with your, your family and especially being on like representing different countries too. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. So I had an, another question, uh, not as much soccer related, but in the, like in the locker room, a lot of us have been on a bunch of different teams and stuff. What's the best like prank or banter that, that you guys have experienced in the locker room that we can talk about on here? <laughs> That's a good one. I'll start off. We, we had uh, in 2013 and 14, uh, when I was on LA, like any new players or our rookies that, that were going like on an away trip, um, like some of the older guys like Robbie or Landon or Omar, Omar was like, Gonzalez was like a prankster. So he would always ask like before we were leaving the party, uh, if he could like put something in your bag, like he needed to like, just use your bag real quick so obviously like as an older guy you're like, oh yeah for sure whatever you need <laughs> you put in your bag and like you don't even really think to like look what's in there you know or whatever he's always just like once you get through like the once we land or whatever give it to me and then whenever you'd go through security like your your bag would go through it immediately get flagged and then like they pull the stuff over and there was just like ridiculous stuff, like so many water bottles, like you'd have like 25 water bottles in there, just like all kind of just like, you know, <laughs> and they're just like pulling it all out in the airport and everyone's just over their video and laughing at you. Um, so I always thought that one was a good one. You guys think of anything like happened in the locker room or uh, rookie stuff? Yeah, I think in my, uh, my first season also as a, as a professional uh, in Sweden, um, what they normally do uh, when you are the youngest, um, when we have maybe, even when we have away games or home games, we have this big speaker, you know, like it's very big, you know, very huge. So you have to carry it, you know, and um, you have to carry it from, from the training ground. It's like a training ground to the, um, like where we play games, is 10 minutes. So, like, and back then I don't drive, so I have to carry it, you know, and then walk all the way to the stadium, you know, like, it's crazy. And, and when they see you, like, maybe when they see you, they're not going to pick you, you know. They, you know, like, for some time, that's what they were doing, and they'll be taking videos of me, and then, you know, posting it on the teams, you know, um, what's up. Yeah, so I think that one is also, that was a good one also. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of too many, to be honest, but I just remember one last year um, <laughs> when we played on Culbertson with the, the sandals, like when we hung it, hung it up from the, the ceiling. <laughs> we were, he was wearing his Jesus kind of looking sandals, so that was, that was kind of bad for last year. Yeah, so, some people would come into to training with some funny outfits. <laughs> our our lack, of, lack of shirts on and things like that, huh? Yeah, like people showing up to training with a jacket but no shirt underneath. That's wild. Yeah. Who would do that? I've really heard of that one before, but kind of crazy. That's crazy. You guys been watching any uh, like TV shows or movies that you could put me on? Um, 
I've I've watched all the Ozarks, but for whatever reason, I haven't watched the newest season yet. Um, I heard it's good, but I just I don't know why I haven't started it. Um, I restarted watching the Criminal Minds. Um, I heard I heard that new there's a new movie on Netflix right now called I think it's called Extraction. I heard it's yes, good. Tanner. If you like action movie, that's, that's the one. one. Extraction. It's a good one. I saw it. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yo, I literally watched that movie twice. <laughs> yeah, so have you guys watched any of the the Last Dance? Uh, the Michael yeah, Jordan. yeah, yeah. Every Sunday, I've been tuning in. This guy, Michael Jordan, is just a beast. <laughs> I just watched the episode about Dennis Rodman. He is a <laughs> he's a character. He's a character for sure. Yeah, but guys, I miss seeing you. Hopefully, we can all get back to the field soon. Uh, does anybody have anything else they want to add before we jump out of here? You know, just keep doing the dance workouts. Um, We're going to be like up. track runners by the time we get back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's, good for, um, that's good for Nico and, and Rudy, you know. They like to run. So. Hey, 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 hey. Run is good. Yeah. Nico, Nico, Nico and Brian, they love running. <laughs> 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 All right, boys. It's really good to see you guys. I'll hopefully, uh, hopefully see you guys on the field soon. Yeah. All right, bro. take care. See you guys. All right, take care, everybody. Right. More fire. Yeah. More fire. More fire. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, everything has changed, but one thing hasn't. BBVA's commitment to your financial needs. Our bank is with you. With our app, you can do most of your banking right from your phone. For more personal service, call us. Stay home, stay safe. And as you take care of what matters most in your life, know that our bank is with you.